as you assume to help somebody else by just listening to them or just smiling back at them is gonna help the other person it is actually that easy now let's see the problem <laughs> Okay, so in the in this process it loses heat, it condenses and loses heat in the amount of 2257 kilojoule. And the question asks what is the total entropy change? Okay, let's solve it. So the total entropy change will be the sum of the entropy change of the system itself and the surrounding. So if this is our system and it is losing heat and the water within is condensing from saturated vapor to saturated liquid, then the entropy change will happen here and also gonna happen in the surrounding. The total means we need to sum all those up, okay? So, Oh, I went all the way there. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So based on that, total entropy change should be equal to the entropy change of the system itself plus entropy change of the surrounding. Okay. You need to understand when your system is losing heat, you expect your system's entropy to increase or decrease. Yes, you are correct. You expect your system's entropy to decrease. So this term has to be negative because the heat carries entropy with it. So when it goes out of our system, I expect this to term to get decreased so it, it has to be negative right so therefore minus negative 2257 kilojoule per kelvin but the system's temperature was 100 degrees c oh 100 degrees c but i need to write it in terms of kelvin so 100 Now we continue, the surrounding is going to gain heat, so you expect its entropy to be positive, entropy change, because its entropy is increasing, so therefore you will use a positive term here. But the environment temperature is 25. And this should give you an entropy change, total entropy change of 1.52 kilojoule per Kelvin. So total entropy change is actually positive. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please, or comments, please write down. Uh, and please subscribe. Okay, see you later.